Hey guys, Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com. Last night I was watching the Grammy Awards and I decided I wanted to put together two haircuts for you guys um, and show you guys the step-by-step -step because I feel like they're gonna be popular haircuts and uh, they were the ones that caught my eye. So we have Carrie Underwood is the first one. Uh, a couple things I love about this haircut, I'm gonna show you guys a picture right here. And uh, a couple things I love is the blunt line in the back. Even though it was kind of a stacked, long, layered bob, it did have that blunt line, so I, I really enjoyed that part of it. Uh, also, it got quite a bit longer in the front, and a lot of people have been requesting this type of haircut. Another key thing that I liked about this cut and style was how she kind of swept it over to the side. A lot of people were doing that last night on the Grammys, so I'm gonna show you guys the end result uh, with that kind of look. So uh, here is the haircut that we did. Uh, you can see it kind of swooped over. You can see how it stacks up in the back. Oh, geez. Um, but you can see kind of the hard line in the haircut, and then it just dives forward in a really nice triangular form um, with the kicked over uh, fringe bang area. So that's the haircut. I hope you guys enjoy this step-by-step -step video. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next and also uh, what you think of this haircut and uh, I would love to see your pictures and end results. So make sure you post those on Instagram and tag Free Salon Education on Instagram. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Here we go with the step-by-step. -step. All right, so we're gonna start off by sectioning like usual. Uh, key things with the sectioning of this haircut is to make sure that you section it based on the parting. So I parted on the right-hand side, brought that all the way back. Then I drew a horseshoe section around that parting following the parietal ridge and separated the two sections, which you'll see later. The other thing that I did was I split it in the back. You'll see that's a little bit of an asymmetrical parting vertical down the back. Uh, and then I just rode above occipital bone down to behind the ear. Really, I wanted to cut this blunt line in the back. The thing that was cool about Carrie Underwood's haircut that I liked was the blunt line that she had. So if you cut that all at a one length, in the back to start off the haircut, you're gonna get that solid weight, the solid line. Then I go through and layer from that point. So you wanna keep your graduation in there that you created with that one length, and then go through vertically, and we're gonna cut a square back following a traveling guide and over directing everything to the previous. Uh, you'll see the elevation is nice and high. We want to create layers. The great thing about this haircut is that it's a nice uniform square layered haircut. So as I'm going through, I'm building uniform layers, which a lot of people talk about seamless layering and want to know how to do seamless layers. The best way to do it is to make sure that you're consistently cutting uniform. The only reason layers are not seamless is because they're inconsistent. So you're seeing the gaps uh, within them. So as I'm going through, I'm working vertically vertical sections, over directing everything back. Now I want to point out a key thing that I did on the other side that I didn't talk about yet. So everything's coming back just like I said to the previous section. But what I've done is I separated the division point of the head. So you'll see the front and the back is separate. I clip it away. That means that everything in that clipped section is going to come directly straight back. What that does for me is it keeps me organized so that I know as soon as I get to that parting and I move on to my next section, everything's going to come straight back to, my, to myself, uh, which is going to push all that weight forward. All right, so we're gonna move on to the top of the haircut. Now I'm gonna go through and point cut this. This is again coming out vertically, uh, but now I'm working in a pinwheel section just through the back to the division point. So making sure that I'm making that rotation, but I'm using a point cutting technique because that's gonna even soften the layers more. If I did blunt cutting, uh, that would be another way that you would probably see the layers a little bit more in the haircut. So I wanted to create that kind of um, shattered, layered look that Carrie Underwood had in this haircut. Again, separating the front and the back, working my pinwheel section. I clip away the front because I want to make sure that I'm not cutting into that. Uh, I think it's really important to do that. Now I'm going to go through. I'm going to overdirect everything over the parting. So I'm going to take my guideline from the back that I've already cut, and I'm overdirecting everything uh, as a stationary guide. So I'm cutting my guide now. Then I'm going through taking those sections, we'll call them horizontal, through the top of the haircut and just following my guide that I've already created stationary. What this is doing is it's collapsing the sides. What you'll notice about Carrie Underwood's haircut is that it had a lot of layers within the side and it was nice and skinny and kind of shattered. So this is going to help us do that. 
as I go through. And because I'm over directing it over the parting, it's pushing extra weight to back down to the side. So we're keeping our length as well. Now we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. My body position is not changing because now I'm going to pull everything towards me. Uh, just making sure you're always taking that new hair and pulling it towards your guideline. And you'll also notice that I don't work my way all the way down the head. I want to make sure that I'm preserving length. I think that's a very key point of any haircut. If you're trying to keep the length in the front, don't bring everything up. Now we're going to go through and blow dry. My Bricado cream mousse. I like it a lot. It's got a good hold. It's not too firm. Uh, it's not sticky. So I'm going to use that to work through this blow dry just to give me some hold. And I'm using a flat wrap technique. Now, this style is really popular. So I want to go over this one wasn't as technical as some of the other ones that you've seen with Lady Gaga. And uh, actually, quite a few people the night of the Grammys were wearing that kind of slicked back look. So what I want to show you is I'm polishing off the hair first. Uh, I think that that's a key thing because her hair is nice and polished. It did have a lot of texture. I can always put in the texture later. Plus, I've already done that with the haircut. So once I get it smoothed out, then I'm going to go through, clean it up, add a little bit of detail work with my Mizutani Puffins, do some dry cutting, go through the back, detail that line that I love so much, then uh, go in and blow dry the hair back. So um, through a little bit of point cutting, just to soften it a little bit more and to make sure that I'm taking the same vertical sections that I did in the wet cut. Using the nozzle of the blow dryer to blow dry the root backwards, it's just gonna help redirect the growth pattern. I blow dry it forward for the dry cut, but now for the style, I wanna go through and just kind of redirect that and add a little bit of volume. And that's the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed this haircut uh, and the style. Please post. Uh, Love to see your results on Instagram. Use the hashtag free salon education. Also, like and share this video with your friends, and we will see you guys on the next video. Thanks.